Three eight five one, turn right heading one eight zero. Hey everyone, welcome back to DJ's Aviation. If you've been watching the channel for many months now, you may know that the Trent 1000 is a popular topic on here, and usually it's not for the right reasons. Airlines operating with the Boeing 787s and the Trent 1000 engines attached have been plagued with issues since around 2017. However, these issues have only impacted Package B and Package C engines meaning that some airlines have seen more issues arise than others. However, Rolls-Royce has in recent days taken a giant leap forward in rectifying this durability and compressor issue after its new compressor fan blades were finally certified. The European Aviation Safety Agency, or more simply the EASA, and also the US FFA have now both certified this redesigned blade and also bulletins which were issued to the 787 operators from Boeing and, of course, Rolls-Royce. The certification of these fixes has been a long time coming, with airlines like Air New Zealand and also Norwegian still suffering with multiple engine troubles, leaving their 787s grounded. Over at Air New Zealand, additional 777s were drafted in, with one sporting the EVA Air scheme and the other wearing a stripped Singapore Airlines livery. With the certification comes a new glimmer of hope for Rolls-Royce who do believe that with the eventual introduction of the fix onto the troubled engines, it will bring a new sense of relief to customers and in turn it will also alleviate all the troubles the engine has faced for the past few years. While airlines have definitely copped the brunt of the compressor issues, Rolls-Royce have forked out time, money and effort into trying to find a fix for this issue. Their reputation as engine manufacturers has also taken a hit after in recent months airlines came out noting their disappointment with Rolls-Royce. It is worth mentioning though that if this new redesigned compressor blade is the fix that all parties so desperately needed, it will mean that Rolls-Royce engineers and also technicians will now also be able to focus on other issues which may have been put to the side due to these Trent 1000 problems. The new compressor is for package C Trent 1000 engines. Rolls-Royce said though that they do indeed plan to also roll out this for their package B engines and also the Trent 1010 engines. These engines though have never actually had any issues. However, Rolls-Royce wants to remove any possibility of the issue spreading to them as well, and rightly so. Trent 1000 engines that fit into Package C make up for a large portion of total engines on the 787s, with 170 of the 300 powered aircraft being from Package C. I'd like to take the time now to thank you very much for tuning into this video. As always, I do very much appreciate all your support, and I do very much look forward to you all joining me in the next one. Race all of these broken dreams in flight And we'll fly